What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, I just want to start off and saying, uh, you know, it's really awesome that that video is kind of blowing up to my standards. It's like at like 1,100 views right now. I've gotten probably like 40 or 50 subscribers from it, which bumped me over a thousand. So thank you for that. And if you're new to the channel, <clears throat> welcome. On here, I'm just pretty much going over my journey and my sort of uh, venture into the local game store business. If you don't know, I opened a game store in New Jersey in uh, the middle of October. So it's been um, right around four months. So things are going great. <clears throat> and uh, I quit my job and I'm doing this full time. Those of you that do know me know that I worked full time while opening and running the game store. This is like a two year process where I worked full time and uh, tried to open the game store. It was insane, crazy hours, and I don't recommend it to anyone. But if you want to do it, you could probably learn a few things from me. So let's get right into it. All right. So let me just get right this right out there if you if you're new here subscribe it's, it's the only time I'm gonna say it it helps the channel out a lot it helps me out a lot and it helps me figure out what you want to hear see everything so if you want to see more videos like this just subscribe leave a question down in the comment section I'm an open book I'm not here to keep any industry secrets from you because there are none uh, everything is out there. Everything's public information. All you really need to do is ask and just That's it. Also a lot of people Because uh, I've I've done this with my other business my uh, Amazon business uh, You can pretty much tell someone exactly what to do uh, I've I've trained people countless times on how to uh, like successfully run a Amazon business and they won't do it. Not that they won't do it. It's hard. Business is hard. So when someone doesn't see, you know, an immediate return on their investment, they get discouraged and they give up. Which is pretty much the game store business or any business in a nutshell. You're not going to see an immediate return. Oh my god, that car's loud. You're not going to see an immediate return on investment right away it's gonna take months or years so you gotta have a little money saved up a little cushion to help pay yourself from the business to help build the business oh yeah so like I said I quit my job that was a insane thing to do yeah so but in order for me to scale this business properly I had to do it because there's only so many hours in the day, and I just want to take you through a typical day for me. I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning every day to get to work. Got to work at 7, worked throughout the day. I worked in a warehouse, loading trucks all day. They paid well, but it just took away so much time that I could spend growing my business. I didn't have a single minute to myself. It was going straight from uh, the job, the day job. Got out at three, got home by four, had an employee here opening up the store for me at two, and I would get here at five, just in the nick of time. And then God forbid, let's say I had a freight delivery at another location, because I get my freight deliveries at another location, um, at one of my other places of business. Uh, so if I got a freight delivery there, I would have to go there. Then come back here with the freight delivery. It was just, it was crazy. The reason I did that is because I wasn't always at the game store. And if it was closed and I got a freight delivery, it would suck. So I needed someone to accept my freight deliveries for me. So I would get here at five when I wouldn't have a, a delivery. And then from five o'clock till... 10 is when my business states I close. But if anyone knows Magic players, they love to stay and play. So I wouldn't kick them out. 
I'm not gonna kick people out. 10 o'clock, time to leave. Sure, when it got to 11, 11.30, midnight, I'd be like, all right guys, finish up. But at 10 o'clock, I'm not running, pe rushing people out the door if they're playing and having a good time. I'm just That's not the type of business I wanna run. I want people to have fun, I want people to stay, I want people to play, because if you have people in your store, people are gonna buy stuff. Sure, not everyone, but people are gonna buy stuff. I do not monetize my play space. I don't charge people to play because how am I gonna do that? I'm sure a lot of people make money doing that, but it's just not how I want to. I don't wanna nickel and dime my uh, patrons, my people that come to my store. Majority of the people that come to my store, they do buy packs, they do buy singles, they spend $100 in singles and packs. How am I then gonna say, oh, you gotta give me $5 so you can play in the space it's just it feels grimy i don't want to do it so i don't do it for everyone sure some people don't buy a single thing and as a shop owner you you know who buys and who doesn't and i can't <laughs> be like you didn't buy anything this one person so you're gonna have to pay for the space so you're gonna have to make the choice of whether you need to um monetize your space or not i choose not to because it just doesn't feel right for me yeah, so why why I'm making this video right now? I'm sort of just babbling on back and forth because I really have no script. I just speak into a camera, and uh, yeah, those of you that know me know I'm a pretty shy person. So me just being personable and speaking into a camera kind of feels natural to me. I don't know why, but it does. It kind of feels like I'm speaking to myself, but through people. I don't know. Anyway, so why I'm making this video is I want you to give me questions to answer for you because like I said I'm just getting into the business you want to get first-hand uh, knowledge and the like, boots on the ground from someone who just is getting into it I'm your man but then again I have been in the industry for the past like three or four years online only and you do want to sort of do that first before you get into the actual brick and mortar setting because you don't know if you're gonna like it to be completely honest with you you don't know so when I come into the store and I have a hundred single card orders in the queue and it's just me doing it it's a lot that the, just that alone takes an hour or two out of the day before I open the store you know it, it it's a lot and um, just Ask questions, uh, subscribe. I know I really didn't cover much on this uh, video, but I do appreciate everyone and the subscribers and everything like that. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, leave it in the comment section and I will be doing more like sort of vlog style videos of just day-to-day -day life in the card shop and everything like that. So if that's something you want to see, also stick around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.